Oh, this is exciting. Look at Tiffany, guys. She's really thick right there. I think she might have some eggs in her. Here, do you need some baby making fuel? Come here. There you go. Okay, make those babies. Oh, good lord, Charlotte. You are huge. Look at those fat rolls. You must be full of eggs. Well, when you need it, your lay box is back there. You can tuck away back there too if you want. Yeah, look at your fat face. No, I'm not feeding you right now. I just gave you a mouse. You don't need more than one. Lay these eggs. Hopefully they're good eggs. Okay, it's been a couple days. Tiffany, have you laid your eggs? Hi, cutie. Hello. I'm not food. She Sorry. Still looks pretty round. Yeah, and I don't see any eggs in the lay box. Okay. Right. Nothing yet from Tiff. <laughs> Go back in there. Go lay your eggs. How about Charlotte? Charlotte, you are a big girl. You're expecting to lay soon. Oh, oh. oh. never mind. She already laid. All right. Some slugs, some good ones. Huh. That's a weird variety of eggs. Yes, okay. It is. Charlotte, did you get them all out? Yeah, did you? Also, stop moving them around. Yeah, stop rolling around your babies. I don't feel yeah. anything. She I don't see still, anything. She still looks really thick, though. Yeah, she's just a fat hog nose. Like, I feel like if she had some, we would see them lower in her body. But, like, this is all oh, empty yeah, looking to me. Yeah, look empty. She's just right. a big girl. She's just fat. Yeah, and she was just going to keep rolling her babies all around. Yeah, so. all right. We'll just put her back then. Yeah, okay. I think, since I'm actually really busy here right now, should we just film these in our office? Sure. Okay, just here's... turn your lightsaber on. Oh, that's a good idea. Is it dead? Oh no, is it dead? Is mine dead? Let's see, if Emily's, if the dark side stays stronger than oh. mine, mine works. Sure, yours is not. Yeah, yours, that's right. Yeah, Here. okay. We'll just throw mine behind you then. Okay, okay. There. <laughs> Sweet. Oh, may the force be with you. Yep. Okay, we'll have the force with us while exactly. we put these eggs into incubation. All right. All right, here are our Charlotte eggs. Uh, eh, One, uh, mm, two-ish? <laughs> Ish, yeah. I don't know. Wow, Charlotte, know. you need to do better. Well, okay. Look at this crappy one. Oh, yeah, that's a really gross one. Boing. Huh. Oh, ew. <laughs> well, she was paired with Bueller again this year, which has worked in the past, so maybe it's just an off year for her or him. It's like two and a half. Yeah, weird. We're also running low on incubation trays, so or containers, so we're going to use this special egg tray that we haven't used in a very long... Have we even hatched snakes in this before? I think we have once. Or maybe fat-tailed geckos. That's I think we've hatched fat tails in this before and it worked well, so yeah. we're gonna try it for hog noses because we're just low on space. Okay, we have perlite in there. Gonna mix in some water. Cheyenne is also helping us today. Yep, she came yeah. to work. You helping us do eggs? Yeah. Now with the water added, this one's a little bit different. We're not gonna put the eggs directly in the perlite. This holder just sits on top like so, and then the humidity kind of rises up through the perlite and reaches the eggs that way. So yeah, kind of an interesting concept. I think I put too much perlite in there. I think you can just use like gel water or even just water at the bottom of this one. Yeah, I think you're right. Really anything that retains or holds on to moisture would work. Okay, so we've got that. And now we're going to take our good eggs, I guess, and just kind of plop them in there. All right, is that going to be too big of an egg for the lid to fit? Oh no, it yes, squishes it the egg. That's, she, I will give her credit for the few eggs that are good. Yeah, they, they are, are monstrous. They are big eggs. Maybe we won't be using the tray. Okay, I don't think we can, yeah. We'll just drop the egg right into the little... Well shoot, I wanted to use that tray and experiment with hognose eggs, but it's not gonna fit. So this will go right there. Yep. Okay, how about, this one looks really good. I'll give it that. Yeah, and... it's like the one egg that looks good. Yeah, pretty much. And Charlotte is a regular albino and she was paired with an albino conda. So we might get some albino condas in these eggs. Hopefully that one is one of those. Yep. Do you think this one's worth incubating? Try it. It's probably going to mold out. But yeah. Doesn't try it. doesn't hurt to try. What else is there in here? Slug, slug, not slug. Not good, not good, not good. Partly calcified. Yeah, all those are slugs. Uh, yeah, definitely a slug. When more than half of it is sluggy looking, you just assume it's not a good egg. Yep. Okay. So there so, we go. Three. Yep, two and a half good eggs from yeah. Charlotte. All right, well, that's that. We'll put the lid on. Do we need to draw on them? Oh, shoot. Yeah, yeah, we do. <laughs> Sorry, it's been a it's day. It's been a very long day for both of us. Uh, what can we do with two and a half? You could do a family, a mama, oh. and a daddy, and a kid. Okay. That's like two and a half. That'll work. Okay, so this big one will be, oh, like a face, or should I draw a person? I'll do a person. A whole person? Okay. Yeah. Let's see, he's gonna wear 
how do you draw like a business shirt? Uh, I mean, usually business shirts aren't short sleeved. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, this is a short sleeve with a tie. Okay. Okay. There's dad. I've never drawn people on eggs before. This will be, we'll give her a dress and nice long hair. Perfect. Mommy egg. Yep. <laughs> Are you doing a baby? Yep. Hint? Hint at snake discovery? Yes. Yes. Because <laughs> yeah, people automatically go to those conclusions. Daddy egg, mommy egg, baby egg, which the baby might die. Huh. Maybe I shouldn't have done the baby as the well, iffy egg. you know, sometimes stuff happens. Yeah. Okay. Well, we went there. Okay. There's our egg or our clutch from Charlotte. Look, you can't even see the baby. No. Like, baby's just forgotten because yep. it's probably not going to actually hatch. 526. Charlotte and Bueller. Perfect. Cool. Let's... What do you think, Cheyenne? Since you're here helping, did, did Emily do a good job? Did Bye -bye. she do a good job? Bye -bye. Oh, yay! I, I did guess, a good job. I guess you did a pretty good job. All right. Thank you, Cheyenne, for your step up of approval. Okay, let's put them in the incubator. That's uh, getting pretty full. That's a good amount of eggs, yeah. actually. And there's still several species that I don't think we're going to breed this year, like the Blue Beauties. I don't think are going to go this Lomas. year. Or the Walmas or the false water cobras, I don't know. Yeah, we'll probably have to pull some of those, like, the males out. Yeah, just to separate just them to, from exactly. part of the year. Well, I guess I'll put those there. I don't know. Perfect. And now we wait for Lily? Tiffany. Wait. L Lily slugged out. Oh, that's, that's right. That's our Tiffany. super, yeah. So Tiffany is our one chance at getting lavenders this year. So now we're going to wait until hopefully she lays her eggs. Oh my gosh, you guys. You're not going to believe this. Um, omelette decided to lay a second clutch of eggs. I see you trying to hide. Oh my gosh, did I just touch it? Oh no, I touched on Nomlet's face, sorry. Well, hello. You weren't supposed to lay more eggs, but those eggs look actually really good. Hi, overachiever. Do you have, before I even look at them, do you have any eggs still in you? Did you get them all out? No, I don't feel anything. Okay, so what I'm looking at here is pretty common in hog noses when they get a little bit up there in age. They sometimes get an impacted scent gland. So this is her cloaca, and just south it looks a bit swollen because there's just some buildup in her scent gland, and honestly, it's not that bad. You can cause more harm than good by expressing it, especially when it's not bad, so we're gonna leave that alone. But that's actually a relief that she doesn't have any eggs, it's just the scent gland. So now I can take a look at these. Oh my gosh, there's more! Wow, these are big eggs too! Oh my goodness, girl, had I known you were gonna double clutch, I would've given you a lay box again! Wow, okay, uh, I'm just gonna put these on this cart, I guess. One, we'll get them out of here and into incubation. Seven eggs, look at this! That came out of her! I can't believe that! Okay, lucky number seven eggs. And they all look really good, too! Okay, is that... I assume that's all of them, right? We've got seven, no more in here. Man, she got them all out, she laid them! Did you actually lay more than seven? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Did you eat any eggs? Oh, that's a guilty face. But innocent until proven guilty, I suppose. All right, good job, Omnomelette. You didn't have to lay a second clutch. And we didn't even pair her because we didn't want to encourage her to lay a second clutch because it uses a lot of resources. So let's get her comfy. Put, I'll put her back. And you know what, Omnomelette? I think I might give you some extra calcium dusted snacks to help replenish your calcium levels. How does that sound? Do you want some snackies? Okay, I have our perlite here. Unfortunately, Buck and Darla's eggs went bad this year. So I think Darla may get retired. She has not produced viable eggs or eggs that make it through incubation for several years now. So we have to figure out what to do with her. Anyway, we have this container now as a result, which I have refilled with fresh perlite. I'm going to leave this slightly on the drier side since they are hognose eggs. It does seem like the eggs are doing better in incubation this year if the perlite is a little bit drier, which makes sense since they live in sand prairies, which is a drier climate. Now something I noticed with these eggs, which is kind of cool, is the side that was facing up in the bin is the widest part of the eggshell. So if I turn it here, oh, it's actually hard to see on camera. It's kind of a pinkish hue everywhere else except for the topmost side of the egg. So even if these roll around a bit, which they kind of did a little on the cart when I moved it to get this uh, shot set up, I was able to still tell which side was up because it was, I guess, the most calcified edge or, uh, or side. So that was kind of interesting. I don't know if it means anything, but I figured I'd point it out. Gonna set all these in. Now a fan was actually in here last weekend and she gave me a fantastic idea for a theme for eggs. And now that we have more eggs, I suppose I can use the theme of Harry Potter. So let's see what we can do. 
All right, I think first we've got to do this. The Deathly Hallows, there we go. A broomstick, the golden snitch, the dark mark, the elder wand. Don't know how this one's gonna turn out, but it's an attempted sword of Gryffindor. Yeah, sword of Gryffindor. And of course, Harry's lightning bolt scar. Ta-da! Harry Potter theme! I love it! Thank you so much for the idea, fan who came in last weekend. Let's see, it is no longer rat corn eggs. This is now Omnomelet, and since he was the only one paired with her, bruh! Laid on 628. Wow, her second clutch. And she didn't eat the eggs again. I'm so proud of her. All right, let's see where in the incubator these are gonna go. Ooh, so this is exciting. I'm putting, gonna put the eggs in here, but while we're taking a peek. Oh, there's baby bull snakes. Okay, that's all you get to see. That's it, that's all you get to look. Oh wait, no, there's one more, that's right. This one's hatching too. Oh, you can't see it though. I guess you're just gonna have to wait for that one. Okay, those are Brad's eggs, they're hatching right now. Those are Priscilla's eggs. And now, we're gonna put Omnomelet's second clutch right here. But wait, there's more. Where'd it go, where'd it go? There it is. So you know how Jafina and Bra had this beautiful clutch of eggs and we're gonna learn something really, really cool when they hatch? Well, Jafina too also double clutched this year. She laid some beautiful eggs as well, but take a look. So I guess this is a three clutch video actually. We get all the bonus backstage insider info. Here's Jafina 2's second clutch, which we weren't expecting, so we didn't see it right away. I think that egg's gonna go bad, that one's gonna go bad, and that one's gonna go bad. But I think the rest are salvageable. I don't think they're too dented in. And we put them in perlite as soon as we saw them. I think I'm gonna add a little bit of water and I'm gonna re-wet the paper towel to really try to rehydrate them as much as possible. But yeah, look at that! We have a second clutch from Jeffina too! So exciting! Okay, I re-wetted re -wetted the paper towel, added some water to perlite. I wanted to do that before filming anything else after seeing that it was already, the eggs were already soaking in some of that moisture, so I wanted to replenish it. There they go! Oh my goodness, there are so many eggs in here! And they're already hatching! I still can't believe that either. Okay, so thank you for watching our extra clutches, surprise clutches for 2023. Look at this! Man, I never thought the incubator would get this full right away. Oh, that's right. We also had another double clutch. The mangrove snake. Oh, I think I already showed these though in another video. But yeah, mangroves had another clutch. Those three are bad, but the one on the bottom that's keeping them all stuck together looks really good. So I think that one's gonna hatch too. Who else is due to hatch soon? Those are the MVK eggs. Those are gonna hatch soon. And actually the ones I thought were gonna hatch before anybody else were the Madagascar giant hognose eggs, which look good, but are just not ready to come out yet, so they're taking their time. That's okay, they'll come out when they're ready. I could just look at these for hours, watching and waiting for things to happen. Oh my gosh, but I'm not. I'm gonna keep them warm. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support, and we'll see you next time.